Hello my loves, welcome to my channel Sun Love Stars and welcome to today's pick a card reading. So today's pick a card reading, I had the idea yesterday when I went to bed and I was thinking, hmm, I feel like I want to do a pick a card reading. I think I want to do a pick a card reading about what would your true love and your future spouse say to you right now in this very moment, okay? So hypothetically speaking, if your future spouse would already be in your life, if you would, he or she would be in your life right now, if they would want to call you, if they would want to drunk dial you, <laughs> you know, if they would be next to you right now, if they would be looking into your eyes right now, you know, what would they say to you in this very moment, okay? So this could also be a channeled message from your true love and your future spouse or maybe even hidden information about them or anything that you need to know about them. I don't know what the cards are gonna show us today, but yeah, basically it's kind of like a channeled message from your future spouse. I actually, I actually got the inspiration from high maintenance hippie i'm gonna put her i'm gonna put her link down in the description box she does future spouse readings and i think i've watched one of her readings um watched one of her readings before like around christmas season and stuff like that and i think she's done like a holiday channeled message from your future spouse and i was like oh that's so cute you know um yeah and i think because you know i have the energy of a pisces meaning that i am very sensitive to details and very sensitive to like um everything for example if i associate a color with something bad i'm not gonna wear the color does that make sense or if i associate a color or a t-shirt with something good then you know i think this t-shirt not, not that not that it brings me luck but i associate it with good memory so I am more likely to pick this t-shirt because it makes me feel like you know I there's good energy around me so I'm kind of like a very subconsciously driven person and I feel like this idea has been inspired by her even though I don't think it's the same um, but I think this was like in the back of my mind because I do remember that reading and I think there was something very beautiful about that reading <laughs> yeah so basically long story short you can see I'm very chit, -chit chatty today and um, we're going to look at what would your future spouse say to you right now in this very moment hypothetically if they would be in your life right now now okay if they would be in your you know if they would give you a call right now if they would send you a text message right now okay what would they say okay so if you think about it you know what they would say to you in this very moment is who they are does that make sense this is kind of like the energy where you will know what kind of lover your true love in your future spouse is by watching this reading because that's what they would say to you you know that's how they would talk to you that's how they would communicate to you okay and i feel like i don't know i'm so excited about this idea because i feel like it gives you like the idea of how your future spouse speaks or what their love language is or what their energy is like do you know what i mean or what kind of like what kind of lover they are like how do they tell you that they like you and that they love you and that they fancy you so i'm super duper excited about this reading so oh by the way you guys already know this reading is going to have an extended meaning i'm going to extend this reading on patreon and i think i'm going to be a little bit more there's going to be a little bit more juicy details on patreon and i'm also going to show the cards that i cannot show on youtube because they are ooh, spicy i'm going to show them on patreon okay so if you are interested in the do you say in the dirty version or in the uncut version, in the unfiltered version um, of this reading where I'm going into spicy details, <laughs> okay, where I don't have to filter what I'm saying. If you want to see that, um, there's a link, link in my description box for Patreon and there I'm going to extend this reading right here, okay. But without further ado, in the next clip you can choose between three images. If you feel super duper indecisive, go on Google, find a number generator and ask your spirit guides to guide you to the right pile or you can also meditate for like one minute and tap into the energy of your future spouse kind of like okay i'm gonna tap into the energy of my future spouse and then you might be drawn to a picture or a number okay so without further ado i'm going to see in your reading guys <laughs>
Hello my lovely pal number one, welcome to reading guys. I am so excited for this reading, I have no freaking idea why. <laughs> okay, but basically this reading is going to be about your future spouse, but specifically about what would he or she say to you right now in this very moment, okay? Hypothetically speaking, if your true love and your future spouse would be in your life right now, what would he or she say to you? <laughs> but I'm so excited about this reading because it also gives you an idea of what how your future spouse speaks or what your future spouse's energy is like or what kind of lover he or she is, right? Because everything that I'm seeing here is how they will talk to you once you guys are in meeting. So you could hypothetically say that I'm tapping into the future, if that makes sense, or kind of like you're going to get a feeling of what kind of lover your future spouse is or how does he or she speak or how do they show you that they fancy you, that they're attracted to you. So what would they say, for example, um, in a text message calling you, drunk dialing you, what would they say to you if you would lay next to them in bed and my intention is also to spark your imagination because I feel like the more you tap into the energy of your future spouse or the more you imagine them the faster you manifest them into your life okay so this is also this reading is also for you to help you to um, spark your imagination or for example if you want to visualize your true love in your future spouse you can you know think back to this reading okay I also want to say I got this inspiration from high maintenance hippie she does future spouse readings I'm gonna put her link down in the description box <laughs> okay um, but let's begin your reading I'm gonna zoom you guys and I'm so excited I cannot contain myself oh my god but it could also be first of all someone's name here could be Jennifer or someone's name could start with a J first middle or last um, just a side note for someone here because before I started your reading I heard the name Jennifer okay um, someone you could also really like the TV show friends okay or you could be with friends right now in this very moment okay someone you could be thinking about getting blonde hair or putting blonde highlights in your hair or you are thinking about buying a wig possibly a wig that has blonde highlights in it I'm just channeling right now <laughs> just a side message okay just to let you know that this is your pile um, I'm also seeing someone here really likes photography or is a photographer, but oh my god, I'm already channeling a lot, okay? This is really just very randomly here. Someone here could also be at a coffee shop right now, okay? Someone here wants to stop drinking coffee, like you think, oh my god, I should stop drinking coffee, it's like not good for me. For others of you, you might be on your way to a coffee shop, you might be sitting in a coffee shop right now, or you are you know, texting with your friend right now to meet at a coffee shop, okay, is what I'm picking up. Someone here could also be a barista. Why did I just say it like that? Someone here could have an accent, like where you, where you roll the R. Oh my God, I'm channeling. Okay, sorry guys. So this is just random information before we begin your reading, okay? Um, so I'm hearing someone here could be a barista um, or you could really love coffee is what I'm picking up here where you're kind of like very specific about what kind of coffee you drink. Maybe you want a really strong one or you want a really mild one. Um, what did I want to say as well? Oh, someone you could be working at a coffee shop or you used to work at a coffee shop. Someone you could also be a waiter or a waitress. Okay, not for everybody, but yeah, let me zoom you guys in. We're gonna look at the cards together and then we're gonna find out what your true love and your future spouse would say to you right now in this very moment, okay? I'm also going to extend this reading on Patreon and you guys already know or maybe you don't know on Patreon I'm a little bit more less filtered meaning there's a lot of cards here that are very sexy, very spicy. There's a lot of cards here that are very spicy. I cannot show them on YouTube because they are too revealing. They're too mm, yummy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you the cards on Patreon. On Patreon, we're going to look at like, you know, I can be a little bit more open with what I'm seeing here or it's kind of like the dirty version. You guys know the clean and the dirty version, right, of a music video. So Patreon is going to be the dirty version where I'm gonna talk about everything that I'm seeing here, the juicy details. The I'm, gonna talk, I'm gonna talk about the details, okay? I'm not gonna hold back. If you guys already know me, I am not shy talking about intimacy, okay? So we're gonna look at that on Patreon in case someone wants to join me there, okay? So some cards I cannot show. Every pile is very, hmm, very spicy, okay? <laughs> Okay, so let me zoom you guys in and then we're gonna talk about everything. Hello guys! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you the cards that I can show. I'm so giggly and like I cannot stop grinning. Oh my god! Okay, so let me show you the card here first. 
Um, I'm also seeing here someone here could be really drawn to the color white right now. Someone here could also be really drawn to the color light blue or blue in general. Okay. But we have here love, S-E-X, and nature. <laughs> and also this card I cannot show. I cannot show it. I would love to show it. I'm going to show you on Patreon what I'm seeing here. Okay. Then we also have your earth couple. So someone here could also be very drawn to beige like beige and cream colors maybe you bought something in a beige or cream color type of vibe um someone you could also be really drawn to like the boss babe outfits kind of like wearing blazers or maybe you like to wear business attire or you're more drawn to it like pencil skirts and um, you are more drawn to like wearing blazers or wearing how do you call it business trousers I'm being brought to like business uh, trousers, but this could also be the type of men or women you are interested in. You could be interested in, or you could be drawn to men or women that are a little bit more elegant, is what I'm picking up here. Maybe very long dresses, blazers, skirts, a little bit more elegant. Um, or you have like those fantasies of going to like a fancy, I don't know, like a fancy party, a fancy, you know, like date where you wear like a really nice dress, a silk dress or whatever, and he's maybe wearing a blazer or a really nice shirt a really nice yeah a really nice shirt kind of like of high quality or whatever maybe that's something that you visualize okay or again something about where you're very drawn to the colors beige white is what i'm seeing here okay kind of like the clean girl look or natural like i'm either picking up clean girl or i'm picking up natural even if it's usually not your thing you might be more drawn to it as of lately does it make sense maybe more nude lips instead of like red ones just just for someone here someone here could also be a musician because we have the three of swords here okay so someone here could be a musician like you could be a musician your future spouse could be a musician what else can i show you i can also show you this card right here we have here morning sex okay as you can tell um your future spouse would be in a mood right now he or she he would he or she would be in a mood okay your future spouse could also be an earth sign they could be a virgo taurus or capricorn also have the seven of swords see i think i can show you this card right here the seven of swords i'm just gonna blur everything out um as well as you know what i'm gonna show you the card okay i'm gonna show you the card we also have you the card your future spouse feels your energy visions okay mm -hmm. as much as i can show <laughs> okay so let's begin your reading what would your true love and your future spouse say to you right now um first things first i pick up a very beautiful energy where your true love and your future spouse what would he or she say to you right now they would actually say to you would actually say to you like hey do you have time like and then you would maybe say, yes, I have time today, this and that, this and that. And then they would ask you, like, do you have the whole weekend? Like, can you take the whole weekend off? Can you take a day off from work? Okay, because I pick up a strong energy, your true love and your future spouse right now in this very moment, they would want to ask you if you would stay the night because we have the morning sex energy here. So I feel like your true love and your future spouse would ask you to go on a date with him or her right now in this very moment, but they would ask you to stay over the night. So they would ask you like, hey, babe, do you have the can you take the weekend off from work or they would maybe say hey i am um, i took a weekend off from work because i want to go somewhere with you then you would ask him or her where like what do you want to do like what's your plan and i pick up the energy because the seven of swords is usually like a mysterious energy where someone is holding back information so your future spouse would say to you like i'm not gonna tell you where we are going and you're like hey why are you so mysterious where are we going okay so he or she would plan like a getaway for the weekend or like a whole day like 24 hours if that makes sense where you maybe um spend the whole night together maybe where you um stay up all night is also what i'm hearing okay and they would ask you if you if you want to stay the morning like they would oh my god they would ask you right now what do you like for breakfast you know what do you eat for breakfast do you like orange juice do you like coffee you know they would maybe even ask you do you have a favorite coffee shop that you go to mm -hmm. they would ask you what you like for breakfast because they want to buy the groceries to have them already in their fridge when you're coming over so you might be like why is he asking me what i like for breakfast okay so i feel like a true love and if you just buzz someone who pays close attention to details especially since we have the virgo energy here okay with the earth couple 
okay or capricorn for example is also a person capricorns really love to work and build something okay and taurus is all about the senses so i feel like your true love and your just boss would ask you like what do you eat for breakfast you know what do you like for breakfast what is your favorite bre breakfast okay um what is your favorite coffee what do you like to drink in the morning and then they would go out and buy the groceries because they want you to spend the night or for the occasion or like maybe it's happening unexpectedly like where you unexpectedly stay over at his or her place the fridge would be full of everything that you love okay everything that you love your favorite fruit your favorite like you know breakfast your favorite bread they would go to the grocery store with like a list and everything that you like okay is what i'm picking up here they might even ask you like what kind of scent you like they would ask you a lot of questions about what you like because they are trying to somehow set up the vibe you know for you to really enjoy being at their place so i'm also hearing something about they would they would ask you what kind of scent you like because i almost want to say your true love and you have just about whether he or she is like whether they are female or male and um, they might like candles or they know that you like candles okay they could know that you like candles in case you do or they could be the type of person they feel like am um, in order to woo a woman they buy candles kind of like their charm is buying candles and making the room smell like your favorite scent okay this, <laughs> this is what i'm being brought to do you know what i'm actually being brought to I've seen a short on YouTube where there was something about like psychology. It was like a short about psychology, how you stay in your person's mind. Like if you are in a relationship with somebody or you're dating somebody and you want to stay in their mind. Oh, this is interesting because I talked about that in the beginning of like in, in the intro that I'm a very subconsciously driven person, you know. I am not a Pisces, Sun, Moon or Rising, but I feel like, I don't know, the way I go through life, although... I am a Pisces, like my south node is in Pisces, so that would make sense anyway. Um, they talked about, in the short, they talked about um, if you want to stay in your man's mind, um, bake cookies. And because when you bake cookies right before he comes over, the whole apartment is going to smell like cookies and every time he smells cookies he will think of you you know because he's going to associate the smell of fresh baked cookies with the last time he was at your place that's how you stay at a in a man's mind this is the energy that i'm picking up here okay so for example if she would be female i think she would be cooking or i think she would be baking of some sort or something about like um she would be asking you like what is your favorite bakery or what do you really like to eat maybe they're really good at cooking if if that makes sense so they they would i'm even picking up the energy here where they would cook something from your um, country for example if you're both from different countries i think they would attempt to cook something from your country to make you feel at home so they would ask you all of these questions they might even ask you like hey do you want to go grocery shopping with me i want to buy everything that you like or everything that you need um and you might be asking like why you know why do you need all of that information but they're basically planning like a whole weekend where you stay the whole weekend um they're planning or they would be planning to take a weekend off from work okay uh, specifically to spend the time with you is what i'm seeing here so they would not just you know take a weekend off from work because they feel like it they would do that because they want to spend a lot of time with you if that makes sense okay so they would be asking you like hey when when is the last weekend you're free like from friday to saturday to sunday if that makes sense okay and again you would ask him or her like you know like uh you know why <laughs> and then he would be like he or she would be like never mind i'm just asking or um you're gonna see i'm gonna show you or i'm hearing i can show you better than i can tell you okay so they would be like a little bit mysterious about where they want to take you they would plan taking you to a really beautiful place here okay now let's talk about it um yeah they would want to surprise you do you see where i'm coming from with the gift card here okay they would surprise you um, taking you to a really beautiful place okay so one thing that i'm picking up here is i feel like your true love and your future spouse they would um, plan to take you to a place either that is far away from the city because i'm picking up two energies and you're going to know what is your energy okay because your future spouse is going to um, mirror you okay they're going to be very similar to you just the masculine or the feminine version of you um, but i'm picking up here they would either want to 
get out of the city okay so they would either want to get out of the city and take you to a really beautiful place like to the most beautiful park that they know to the most beautiful rose garden that they know they would want to take it to a place like close to like a body of water does that make sense if you look at those two cards and one says love as the x in nature say so they so they would want to take it to a really beautiful place in nature okay they might even ask you like what do you like more do you like the countryside oh my god i'm hearing the song my love by justin timberlake if i wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me what would you do if i told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular so baby i've been around the world but I ain't see myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart. Oh my God. You know what the funny thing is? Because in the song he says, if I wrote you a symphony. And it's funny because in this card right here, you can see he's playing a harp. So I do feel like... um. We're going to talk about it. But I do feel like they would either like dedicate a song to you. So they might send a song to you. Just like, for example, My Love by Justin Timberlake, you know, they would send that song to you and they would tell you, like, every time I hear that song, I think of you. Okay, that's what they would do. Okay, or they would um, actually write a song. Like, for example, you're texting him. Um, he might be in the studio, like, if he or she is a musician, okay, if they produce beats or if they sing or if they rap, they would tell you, like, you would be like, hey, what's up? What are you doing? They would say, I'm in the studio thinking about you or I'm in the studio and... I'm writing a song that is inspired by you. Does that make sense? Or they would want to show you a song and they would say like, um, I wrote the song for you. Like, I want to show it to you. I want to send it to you. Okay, for a very few of you, okay? Just a few few of you <laughs> i'm picking up here they might even ask you to be in their music video okay just for someone like probably for just for one person or two people here okay something about where they might even ask you to be in their music video in case they are a musician yeah. because they might be like for some of you guys they might ask you like hey you know i want to give you tickets to my show i'm performing somewhere yes for some of you guys your true love and if just does, does perform in front of people they perform their music and stuff like that so what they would say to you right now is they would say hey i have a show this weekend do you want to come do you want to see me perform okay um how many tickets do you need do you want to bring your friends okay <laughs> um fathers of you i'm picking up the energy here they would say that um they want to take it to a place that reminds them of you or they would want to take it to a place like kind of like for example if you would say to them like damn i'm really stressed today or you know like um work was really stressful they would say like i know a very peaceful place you know and you're like okay where is it and they're gonna be like i'm gonna show you you know let's meet up this weekend you know um take some day off of work or something like that i'm gonna bring you to a really peaceful beautiful place or kind of like i feel like this place is magical every time i go there is something beautiful happens or that's the place that i go to when i want to calm my mind so they might bring you to a park a rose garden you know like a body of water taking a walk close to a body of water is what i'm picking up here okay yeah definitely seeing that they would say to you like hey you know um let's meet up i'm gonna calm your mind okay i'm gonna calm you down or i know a really peaceful place is what i'm seeing here okay so they would want to take a walk in nature with you okay they might even ask you like do you like the countryside oh yeah that's where i started singing the song because i'm hearing they would ask you if you are a city girl or if you are a person that likes to be like by the countryside and stuff like that maybe you like both maybe you like more nature maybe you like more the city life okay because for others of you i'm seeing the opposite for others of you although it doesn't necessarily mean that but for others of you with the four of pentacles i feel like they would take you to they would ask you hey do you have time today because i want to take you somewhere and you're gonna be like where like what do i like where where are we going <laughs> they would say like oh don't worry about it you know just put on your favorite dress yes i'm hearing dread dress a little bit fancy okay um or maybe it's a fancy place or dress casually or you know put on like a take a scarf with you because it gets a little bit cold there that's what they would say to you if that makes sense okay for others of you i'm seeing them taking you to a skyscraper okay 
I'm seeing them taking you to a very high building, okay? Um, because I'm seeing them, yeah, I do see that here, okay? Okay, I see it here, I, I see it. For some of you guys, because when I look at this card right here, it looks like they are on top of a building and they have like the best view okay so they would take you to some type of skyscraper where you have like a really beautiful view on it take you to a place where you have like the best view to see the whole city or you have the best view to see like a meadow like the moon and like a huge meadow and stuff like that okay for someone very particular i'm seeing horse riding here i don't know if you like horse riding or if your future spouse likes horse riding but yeah they would basically like um take you to a really magical place here okay i keep hearing the songs by justin timberlake i do not know why i'm gonna show you why in the extended because again i cannot show all cards but i'm hearing I'm feeling close to you, maybe it's this ocean view, I'm so emotional. And the song is called Tunnel Vision. I got that tunnel vision for you, tunnel vision for you. Okay, so they might be telling you like, damn, I cannot concentrate, you know, I keep thinking about you or... I'm trying to concentrate on work, but I can't, okay? Something like that is what I'm picking up here, okay? Now, if they are a little bit bold, they would say, like, um, I cannot wait to see you naked, okay? For some odd reason, I don't know why, but I feel like if it's supposed is artistic, because I'm seeing them... How can I explain that energy? Because there's a picture right here, and I think it's, like, very... How can I explain that? To me, this picture right here looks like um, art, but it's n nudity art or it's like um very sensual art if that makes sense so i don't know i feel like an energy where for some of you guys they might be saying they want to paint you or i don't know something about where they they painted something or they took a picture or they want to take pictures of you for some of you guys yes your future spouse might be a photographer or some type of artist and they might create something or they want to create something because of you so they might be asking you hey can i take pictures of you or i don't know what this means but it's like really how can i explain that okay give me a moment i'm trying to channel what this is okay because i'm seeing them like where there's light on your body oh okay i might tap into their fantasies or that might be something that they would say to you depending on how like straightforward they are but there's something about like they want to have they want to be intimate with you in daylight like they want to see your whole body they want to see every mole on your body again maybe they're saying that to you kind of like the next time we're intimate i want to see your whole body you know um i want to put the lights on or you know like i want the you know or something about where they really you know enjoy looking at your body when there's like sunshine on your body i don't know what that means okay something about where they want to see your whole body in like a bright daylight because maybe on the first times you guys are intimate with each other it's maybe like dark or um you know the, the lights are dimmed you know something along those lines is what i'm picking up here okay also have you the card morning sex and it says they like to have sex in the morning and would like to spend the whole night with you so they can wake up next to you okay so your true love and if you're supposed they would say like um, I feel like, you know, do you want to spend the night or something like that because I want to wake up next to you or because when I saw this card, I heard the song Onana, I think. Um, in the song, he says, um, your heartbeat woke me up this morning, still got the taste of you on the tip of my tongue, so beautiful when you sleep in. Okay, so they would maybe say to you or even think because I pick up, I pick up, I feel like I pick up on their thoughts and then, you know, certain things they would actually say. How they really like waking up to you next, how, how they really like to wake up to you in the morning or something about like the morning sex was amazing or something about they really enjoy morning sex with you or something about like, um, had, like I had a lot more energy today at work or I couldn't focus on work because of what we've done in the morning because in the song again he says your heartbeat woke me up this morning still got the taste of you on the tip of my tongue so they could be saying I still smell like you or I can, still can taste you even though they are at work if that makes sense they're kind of like Monday morning they go to work or whatever okay so they would say they can still taste you or they can still smell you or they can still vividly see your naked body even though they're in front of like their i don't know their work or in front of paperwork or whatever okay what we did last night 
Ooh, it was amazing. That's what he or she would say if I give you the rest of my life. Okay, give me a moment, guys. I think I actually want to look at the lyrics. I'm going to put all the songs down in the description box, okay? Also hearing, do you like it here? Like, they would ask you if you like it, like where they brought you. They would look at you and they would ask you, do you like it here? And I think you would really enjoy it or you would really feel like, wow, this place brings so much peace to me or this is such an incredible view wherever they took you okay in the song he says so beautiful when you're sleeping may fall in love again if i stay too long okay so they might even for some of you guys they might even be saying like i cannot stay for too long or kind of like they might be for example you guys spent the whole um weekend and then they you might be noticing that they're rushing to get to work on monday morning you're gonna be like why is he so like why is he or she acting so weird? They're actually acting so weird because they're noticing they're falling in love with you. Does that make sense? <laughs> Something like that. Um, because it says, may, may fall in love again if I stay too long. Okay. Now, the interesting thing is this lyrics was posted on Genius on the 23rd of January. So the 23rd of January could be significant for someone here. Um... And then he says, what we did last night, what we did last night, oh, it was amazing. If I give you the rest of my life, I pray you would take it home. Okay, so they would be praying that it's lasting between, like between you guys, you know, that's something that they probably wouldn't tell you, but they might even tell you like, I prayed for someone like you, okay. Um, or it's like a little secret that they pray like, oh, I hope this works out. Please God, let this work out, <laughs> you know, with her or with him. Um, in the chorus he says I tried but I can't stop thinking about you and your body touching my body I fucking lose it girl I don't know what to do am I dreaming what am I seeing I can't believe it it's just too good to be true okay so these might th be things that they would say to you like they cannot stop thinking about you or and maybe they act weird sometimes because they feel like they're getting obsessed with you and they don't want that do you know what i mean it's kind of like um i was busy at work where i didn't text back because i don't want to be clingy kind of like where they explain to you why they sometimes act weird <laughs> if that makes sense okay yeah i'm seeing that here mm -hmm. yes they would explain it to you because they know they're acting foolish sometimes when they fall in love to, so they would explain it to you okay and then it, uh, the song says feel like i've known you forever can't believe that you just met me so they might be saying it feels like i've known you forever i cannot believe that we just met or um kind of like something about where i feel like i've known you before or i feel like i've seen you before and you're like really do you really think you've seen me before maybe they actually say to you yeah i've seen you before like two years ago at this place and like damn i really was at that place does that make sense um he says i got hella shit to do today i'm just hoping you don't let me i'm ready for breakfast in bed oh yes i'm telling you okay um they would be saying you know i'm gonna make you breakfast in bed or there's gonna be breakfast in bed okay um they would say to you i'm ready for another round <laughs> Your melody is stuck in my head. I've never heard a sweeter sound. Ooh. They might actually say to you they really like your voice. Like, oh, I love listening to your voice. Or your voice is so sexy. Or I like the way you moan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have here. I've never heard a sweeter sound. I could sing it all night long. I'm trying to get the right tones. Want to make you hit the note, the high notes keep it on repeat like mike jones i'm ready for breakfast in bed i'm ready for another round you already know my name i just want to hear you scream it out for some of you guys pal number one if you are a musician or if you are you know someone who can sing or who can rap they maybe would be saying like oh man i really liked you know the song that you created or i listened to your song today that you sent to me that you created that when i went to work or when i went to school or um when i drove to the gym so they would basically say like i don't know maybe they like the song that you <laughs> created or something about you know like can you sing again for me i love your singing voice or something about like you know I knew I was in love with you when I heard you first singing or something along those lines in case someone here is a musician. They will probably say they listened to your song or they listened to your song today in the car, <laughs> driving home from work or whatever. 
where they would say kind of like you know every time you sing you know it makes me feel sleepy or something along those lines okay so if someone here is creating music they would talk about how they love your music or they listen to it or they show it at other people and they liked it too something along those lines okay for some of you guys again if someone here is a mu musician they would actually like say to you like you know what i really listened to your song and i really liked it but i think it's missing something and maybe they would give like a suggestion to you does that make sense where they kind of help you to or you might be saying like i like the song that i created but i feel like it's missing something and then they would be like telling you hey you know i listened to your song and you're right something is missing and i thought about you know this beat what do you think about it does that make sense so you would kind of like start to bring your music tastes together if that makes sense and it's it would start to sound like i don't know again where you feel like something has been missing they might even like inspire you to go in a different direction with your music not to completely change but to kind of like they would spice up the way you create music if that makes sense pound number one i'm gonna go to the extended now okay i'm gonna go to the extended now i'm gonna get a few more cards and i'm actually also going to show you the cards that are you know that I'm seeing here, okay? I'm gonna go a little bit more into detail, so if you are interested in the extended, the link is down in the description box, okay? <laughs> um, if not, I'm gonna see you in my next one, and also if you wanna watch more Future Spouse readings, I have a lot on my YouTube channel. Also, maybe you wanna check out Maintenance Sippy because again, she also does Future Spouse readings, okay? So yeah, if you are interested in the extended, the link is down in the description box, I'm gonna see you there, and if not, I'm gonna see you in my next one, and I wish you a lovely day, bye. Hello my lovely pound number two, welcome to your reading guys. So, <laughs> I'm so excited for this reading, okay. On today's pick a card reading, we're going to look at your true love and your future spouse, but <laughs> we're going to look at what would he or she say to you right now in this very moment, hypothetically speaking. If they would sit next to you, sleep next to you right now, if they would give you a call, if they would text you, if they would drunk dial you, what would they say to you right now? And I'm so... <laughs> Oh my god, isn't that funny I talk about what, what would they text you and we receive like a text message here. Um, but what I wanted to say is I'm so excited for this reading because I feel like it gives you a feeling of how your future spouse speaks or what kind of lover they are or how do they show you that they are into you by the way that they speak or what they say because if you think about it i could also be tapping into like a future scenario does that make sense because that would be what he what would happen if they would already be in your life but i might also tap into something that happens in the future like your first conversations or just in the beginning stages you know um yeah so i'm very excited for this reading i'm actually thinking about because i don't know what's going on but the heater does not really work today Okay, so I'm thinking about, and I wanted to wear this outfit, so I'm thinking about heating up my water bottle, <laughs> and then I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna begin your reading, okay? Okay, pen number two, let's begin your reading. So the first thing that I want to talk about is, or the first thing that I want to show you, it's gonna make sense in a second, um, but I accidentally clicked on an advertisement um, when I was um, preparing laying your cards out on the table and this ad that i clicked on is like a website for clothing okay so it's basically asos <laughs> i don't know if someone here is currently ordering new clothing maybe you're changing your wardrobe you cleaned your wardrobe just an extra confirmation that you chose the right pile or you feel very drawn to fake leather or faux leather lately and for others of you you have been feeling drawn or you have been thinking about buying new boots and new shoes and new skirt a new dress of some sort something like that for some of you guys you are a you want to become a fashion designer or you always have been you know like very drawn to fashion very drawn to going to paris to a fashion week or you like to you like to um you like to express what is happening within you with your clothing for some of you guys you might actually think about becoming a fashion designer or um you always had visions of you coming out with your own collection may that even be jewelry sunglasses something like that so i pick up the energy here let me actually show you what i'm seeing here okay so that's the advertisement that came up i don't know this could be somehow significant for someone here but we're going to talk about it okay um you could be drawn to that type of style right now or 
you could be drawn to changing the way that you dress is what i'm picking up here or you could be very you could be like dreaming of like a dress that is very expensive or shoes that are very expensive or a bag that is very expensive and it's like in the back of your mind like oh, i'm gonna manifest that dress i'm gonna manifest those shoes is what i'm picking up here okay let me actually show you the cards and then we're going to talk about why this is significant here okay for some of you guys you have been thinking about if you are a guy you have been thinking about damn i need some nice shirts for a good date and um, maybe you bought these recently maybe you're thinking about decluttering your wardrobe maybe you're noticing that your style is changing because we have the boots here okay i'm gonna be very honest here we have the card boots here and the first thing that i was brought to is a sabraki let me actually zoom you guys in so i was being brought when i looked at this card right here i was being brought to a sabraki in an interview and back in the days i thought a sabraki is the most handsomest man in the world but nowadays i think he's still handsome but i'm not drawn to him i there's something that i don't like about him i don't know what it is anyway just a side note <laughs> okay um but i'm being brought to the interview where he had like those cowboy boots on and i was like oh my god what are those you know i'm not drawn to cowboy boots although if i think about it now i do like cowboy boots but i like cowboy boots on women i don't like cowboy boots on men but you might really like cowboy boots on men you might really like biker biker men biker jacket leather jacket you might really like biker boots on men you might really like boots on men you might like cowboy boots on you on men because um i don't know for some reason i want silver cowboy boots don't ask me why anyway or someone here could be from texas or something along those lines or you're really drawn to kind of like biker rock and roll um type of energy or you really like men that put a lot of effort into fashion like how they dress or you like really eccentric men that you know play with outfits they don't look basic they somehow have something very unique about them or again for example a white t-shirt jeans but he has like boots on like i'm being brought to the wild wild west maybe you're drawn to those movies those men something like that is what i'm picking up here but yeah immediately i was being brought to a sabraki where he was in an interview and he had cowboy boots on that i thought were hideous <laughs> okay but this could be somewhat significant buying shoes or you are drawn to men or women who wear boots over knees that's something that you like okay it's something that you're drawn to or that's what you see when you close your eyes and envision your true love in your future spouse for some of you guys okay for others of you i'm being brought to again the same energy because I, for some odd reason i pick up the energy of asa brocky and brianna so that could be somewhat significant to um how you guys are meeting and i'm not telling you that i don't like your future spouse i just don't i don't know i think there's something there is something that I don't like about Aesop Rocky and I don't really know why, okay? So don't worry about it. I'm talking about Aesop Rocky. I'm not just, I'm not talking about your future spouse. Because I do like the energy of your future spouse a lot, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay. So yeah, this could be an energy where you and your future spouse, you could be friends in the beginning first is what I'm picking up here. Or you already know your future spouse. But do you know what I mean? Where it, it takes a little bit of time for you to fully be officially in a relationship. Just like Rihanna and Asa Brocky, it took a few years. Like they were dating different people and then they came back to each other. Um, and maybe I'm also mistaken about Asa Brocky. I don't even know why I talk so much about it anyway. <laughs> um... So yeah, I also remember Asa Brocky talking about how he is the first black man in Vogue and Rihanna, Rihanna was the first black woman in Vogue. So I don't know, there's something about Vogue, magazines, fashion, modeling, I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's them is what I'm picking up here. Okay, but again, it's not going to be for everybody. For some of you guys, they are... So the, okay, listen, what I'm hearing is here is what your future spouse would say to you right now is I'm hearing I immediately noticed you. Like I'm hearing I immediately noticed you in your red dress. I immediately noticed you in your black dress. Pound number two, you could just be wearing something unique on that day or again, something red colored because red is like always like a very popping color. So this could be red accessoires, like a coat, 
gloves, um, red glasses, red sunglasses or something shiny that is silver colored or gold colored or I'm also being brought to any glittery stuff especially if you tell me you like to wear bold things or glittery things or like a red lip of some sort and maybe again you're gonna for some reason you're going to wear that on that day you know when they are noticing you if that makes sense okay so somehow gonna feel like there's something unique about the way that you dress on that day or you are in general a person that you like to dress very uniquely you like to you know maybe like uh, wear clothing that doesn't match together but you know it's fashion <laughs> or maybe you like very bold colors or for some of you guys you might also be you might also be alternative where you like to wear you know alternative clothing there's something about i immediately noticed you okay um for others of you because you look like for some of you guys they would be saying you look like a model or you're dressed like a model or um something about the way that you are dressed it looks like i don't know something about you look like a fashionista if that makes sense for some of you guys okay and again for others of you on that day you just wear something unique does it make sense i immediately noticed you with your over knee boots you know i immediately noticed you with your red lipstick okay let me actually show you the cards because we have the card here let me seduce you okay and you can see she's wearing a red dress so i keep hearing lady in red <laughs> um if you do choose that pal where i talk a lot about like a black dress a, a red dress lady in red something like that okay this could even be an energy where in case you are a masculine she might be saying i immediately saw you with your burgundy satin shirt or i immediately saw you in your red pullover i immediately saw you with your um black shirt you know or something like that okay something about where they they would say to you how they immediately noticed you in the crowd and they're going to tell you why they noticed you okay because here in this card it says i'm right behind you okay and she's wearing a black dress okay so um they could be saying again i immediately noticed you i saw you from afar i was watching you from afar before i approached you definitely seeing that here because if you look at it like that she doesn't even know that he's walking behind her so he might he or she your future spouse would be would be saying to you i was watching you like a creep for an hour before i even you know like approached you or you know like um, i immediately you know noticed you on a dating for example you guys meet on a dating app they would say that they immediately noticed you and before they sent you the first message they had like a three hour long conversation with their friend what they should write to you how they would you know how would they you know how would they have a chance with you do you know what i mean in case she is a woman and you are a guy watching or you are a guy watching and you are into men it doesn't matter what you're into but in case you are masculine she might be saying i immediately was thinking about how i can catch your attention i was playing with my hair on purpose i put red lipstick on on purpose so that you notice me does that make sense or something about you know like um you know i was yeah i put um, lip gloss on on purpose you know i put some perfume on on purpose so that you can smell me or that you notice me something like that is what i'm picking up here again if he is a guy he would say i was watching you from afar like a creep or i was watching you before i came to you i was so stressed i had anxiety approaching you i had anxiety sending you the first text message i talked to my guys i talked to my girls what i should write and stuff like that <laughs> do you know what i mean but yeah there's something about i immediately noticed you i'm hearing i immediately noticed your curls listen let me actually show you the cards okay i'm hearing i immediately noticed your red hair for some of you guys you might have red hair you might have red in your hair okay i immediately noticed your red hair for example okay i immediately noticed you in your red dress i immediately noticed your red lips okay fathers of you they would say i immediately noticed your curls you know like your curly head i immediately noticed your um, curly blonde hair okay i immediately noticed your blonde hair you know your blonde shiny hair is what i'm picking up here okay or they could be saying like for example if you guys are meeting and there are because for some of you guys i even pick up the energy here where you might meet your future spouse because he stand they are standing behind you in a line does that make sense where for example you are at the cashier desk they might be behind you so they might be saying they immediately noticed like your hair or you know your the way that you smell 
um, because they could like because they were right behind you does that make sense so they immediately noticed your scent like your perfume was so sexy it really like brought me in or I was so drawn to your perfume like an aphrodisiac you know what I mean kind of like oh my god you know like I'm being brought to those shorts where they advertise like perfume someone here could work an advertisement I don't know if it's you or if it's them um, but uh, I'm hearing those I'm seeing those advertisements where they advertise like this perfume that makes men or women go wild. It's supposed to smell like you down there or whatever. Or I'm also, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I might say it on Patreon. Oh, by the way, this reading is going to have an extended where we're going to look at the spicy details. So I'm going to be a lot more... You know, I'm gonna talk a lot more, you know, kind of like the dirty version. Um, it's gonna be on Patreon because I don't think I'm gonna say that now. I'm not gonna say it now. Anyway, so they're gonna tell you I immediately noticed you, you know, I could smell you from a mile away, your perfume was so strong, or I smelled you across the room, or I was watching you for an hour and you didn't notice, I was watching you work, Okay, look at that energy. I was watching you work. I was watching you painting. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? So they would tell you how they immediately noticed you. If you have brown hair, don't worry about it. There's something that they notice about you. Again, they could be noticing like your boots, your over knee boots. They could be noticing your high heels, okay? Or something about, for others of you, I feel like it's something about your perfume or something about like, um. I don't know if you something about your laundry detergent i don't know maybe a lot of people tell you that your clothing smells really good or your laundry detergent smells really good like there's something about where they immediately notice you in the crowd but again i also feel like they have been watching you kind of like similar to asa brocky and rihanna asa brocky has been watching and eyeing rihanna for quite some years for quite some time and again for some of you guys if you just both might be in your friend circle and he and she he or she has been watching you they have been feeling like you are the one but it takes a few months or a few weeks or a few few years for them to approach you and actually tell you about it i don't know why it's going to be different for all of you okay look at that oh my god it makes so much sense we have the card here i might not always find the right words but let me surprise you so they would tell you like oh my god you know i didn't know what to say to you um you know i was stuttering oh my god you know like i felt so embar embarrassed because I started stuttering and stuff like that or I've been thinking about what I could write you so I get your attention is what I'm picking up you so they would describe to you how you immediately caught their attention they immediately noticed like your bag the I'm hearing your the tattoo on your back someone here could have a tattoo on their back is what I'm seeing here okay they could yeah something about where they immediately notice also your tattoo as well as i'm also seeing um jewelry okay because i'm seeing like where you really like to play with jewelry but i'm specifically being brought to necklaces that reach into the cleavage okay something like that i don't know what that means okay now something else that your true love and your future spouse would say to you is um I think they, okay, listen, I feel like they're, because the card says self-love, they absolutely love that you put yourself first and don't rely on them to satisfy you. It makes them want you even more. And the first thing that I heard with this, again, I heard like, I heard your future spouse saying like, I find it so sexy the way that you walk or something about the way that you walk is so sexy. Oh, I'm also hearing, oh my God. Okay, for some of you guys, your future spouse likes feet. Your future spouse is gonna say, you have the most beautiful feet they've ever seen or something about like they immediately noticed you because of your feet not for everybody okay but i just saw feet um they would also say they really like how you walk you walk very sexy or something about the way they like the way your hips are you know like um the way your hips are shaking when you're walking something about where they would actually like tell you what caught them what drew them like why they are so drawn to you okay they would say like i really like it with when you play with your hair or the way that you play with your hair or um 
I was so drawn to you because you had the time of your life by yourself or you know like you were smiling and having fun and you know like I was so drawn to that you know something like that is what I'm picking up here or again they would say to you like oh my god those over knee boots oh my god I'm so drawn to over knee boots and you wore them on that day and I was like damn I got to get her number oh my god she's so sexy or something about the way you play with your um the way you the way you put your lipstick on was so fucking sexy or the way you play with your hair was so fucking sexy something like that is what i'm picking up here they would tell you how sexy they find you and why they were so drawn to you like oh my god you know i i had to approach you but i didn't know what to say or i knew i had to get your attention but i just had to think about something spectacular to get your attention is what i'm picking up here so yeah they would say like um, damn, you know, I really like the way that you talk, the way that you walk, or something about, like, there's something so sexy about you, I don't know what it is, you know, something like that is what I'm picking up here, okay. Or something about, like, when you started licking your lips, like, for example, you have, like, a mustache, you drink, like, a coffee or, like, whatever, and there's, like, creamer or there's, like, um, something on it, and they would tell you, like, how cute they found it when you were, like, licking your milk mustache away, Especially if you tell me this happens to you a lot, okay? Um, or something about, um, they were so like, they. I mean, I almost lost it when you started biting your lips or when you started licking your lips or something like that, okay? Something like that is what I'm picking up here. Or I lost it when you winked at me. Like, you might be, you might be the type of person you like to flirt. Oh my God. Yeah, they would say you are such a flirt or they would say like, damn, pie number two, you're such a seductress. Are you trying to seduce me? Or something about, where they would say like um i was scared that i was scared that you still have somebody and then i'm gonna get in trouble is what i'm picking up here as well they would say like i was watching if you have like a ring on your fingers or something like that because i don't want to get in trouble or i never could guess that you are single or something like that is what i'm picking up here okay um i feel like they would say to you oh my god what is that song called? I'm also hearing, I don't know which song it is, but I'm hearing just give me 24 hours and you you will you will want more. Okay, so your true love and your future spouse, they would say like, I was confident that I'm not gonna get you, but I was still like nervous or something like that. Or um, let me actually see, because it is a song by Janae Aiko, but it's something about like, just give me 24 hours, you will ask for more or you will beg for more. Ooh. <laughs> okay, give me a moment guys, I'm just gonna check. Song, stay ready. By Jenna Echo. So that song could be significant, okay? It says, We do not exist in any, any other instant here in this dimension you and I are meant to be. So your true love and your future spouse, they would probably say, like, I feel like we are meant to be because I was asking for a sign and all of a sudden you were there, or something about I have a feeling we are meant to be, or the way we met was like, you know, I think God brought us together, or this is not a coincidence, is what I'm picking up here, okay? So in the song she says, you and I are meant to be, I have waited lifetimes to find you. Now that you're here, I can remind you of the things you've been dreaming times too, I promise you. Yeah, and in the song she says, if you just give me 24, man, all I need is 24 hours. I promise you will want plenty more, you will probably will, you will probably be with it forever. Mmm. So how does it sound? As on the ground, giving you my love. Ooh, there's no place quite like here. There's no better time than now. So they would say like, um, kind of like where they feel like it was divine timing. Like, oh my God, the timing was so perfect that I met you on that day or on the day I was praying and then I met you. Something like that is what I'm picking up here as well. Okay, so they could say like they had to, like I, I needed like a, like an hour or something to, you know, approach you or get ready to say something or something along those lines, okay. Now another thing that I'm picking up here is your true love and if you're just going to feel like you're such a seductress or you're such a seducer, maybe they're going to catch you on a day where you look really sexy, where maybe usually you are very casual, but on that day you feel frisky, ooh, yeah, you're going to feel frisky and risky and flirtatious, or you just have like a very frisky flirtatious nature maybe a lot of people or a lot of men think you want them or a lot of women think you want them even though you're just friendly but your friendliness comes off very seductive or very flirtatious so i'm hearing your future spouse like asking you like um what are you looking for like 
you know do you want to have fun or do you look for something serious so they would ask you that question because i feel like a true love and if this spouse is going to be scared that you will that you will um that you will play with him does that make sense because we have here um the card worry okay and we have here the card false person and i pick up the energy here like um I'm hearing the song Maniac by Janae A. Cole now. Like, they're gonna feel like you're so sexy and so, like, such a seductress or there's something slow, almost as if you are, like, a pro. Oh, they're gonna feel like you are, like, a pro lover or you are, like, really good at flirting. Does that make sense? <laughs> Guys, there's so many songs coming through. Let me actually check out. Because, again, they're gonna be worried that you're gonna play them. I'm gonna be honest, okay? They might be asking you, are you a player? Hmm? <laughs> Do you flirt with everybody like that? Even if you are a woman and he's a guy, he's gonna ask you that question, okay? <laughs> Let me see. It's called Pro Lover, okay? The song is called Pro Lover by Asher. Oh god, I love that song. It's gonna be funny between the two of you, okay? It's gonna be so funny between the two of you, okay? <sighs> okay. In the song, he says, the game is about to change. Um, a lot of women, you know, they say y'all do it better than us and I learn from the best. Oh yeah, they're gonna feel like you're good at flirting or you're good at seducing or they're gonna feel like you want to seduce them or kind of like where they feel like you just want their D-I-C-K or you just want their puss, okay? Um, okay, it says, I profess I'm a lover, minor scholar of anatomy, doctor feminine chemistry, got a healthy fascination for a multitude of, re of relation with plenty of women still on the fee and it happens that every once in a while I go too deep and like and then I gotta shut it down. She keep on coming back, she keep on coming by, won't, won't quit calling. It's safe to say that she's falling. She pleading. She don't want to leave me. I had to tell her no, no, no. She keep on begging for more. No, no, no. She said, you don't love me no more. That's what Nabi be like. And that's how they're going to feel like you are. Okay, so they might misjudge you or they might tell you like, I thought you are a seductress. I thought you were just playing or I thought you're just, you know, you're not looking for anything serious because you were so bubbly and lighthearted in the beginning that I thought you don't take me seriously. But then I noticed that it's just your nature. You're just a nature you're just a very bubbly flirtatious person by nature but in the beginning it made me a little bit insecure that's what they would say to you but what i mean here is that's how they're gonna feel what you do to them okay so in the song he says loving me baby that's a no no i'm better when i touch and go i'm trying to add your name to my hall of fame i'm not a player i'm a pro lover so they're gonna feel like are you a player or are you a pro lover you know um do you just want to add their name into your hall of fame okay um do you just want to touch and go yeah that's what they're gonna ask you they would ask you these questions kind of like what are you looking for you know like trying to like rubbing their like chin like what are you looking for <laughs> or, they're tr or they would try to ask you these questions but in a sneaky way you know they would try to ask you those questions but in a sneaky way because they don't want to admit that they are worried that you're gonna play them so they might be saying like um you know what are you gonna do like tomorrow so they might try to find out if you're gonna go on a date tomorrow if you have a date with another person they might be asking you like oh i saw you like you know in the like for example if they see you on instagram or on snapchat or whatever wearing like a really nice dress they would ask you like where are you going you know and they they act as though they're just interested in your day but they want to know if you're <laughs> seeing someone else or how you view them like if you are serious with them or i don't know something like that okay something like that so they would say like i was not sure about you in the beginning because you're so i don't know you're so like light-hearted or you're so playful like you don't take life so seriously and then i was like you don't even take me seriously and then i noticed it's just your nature oh <laughs> okay 
So they would tell you like I was shitting my pants. I was so freaking worried that you know just a touch and go, just a one night stand, it's just a kiss. You're not gonna call back and stuff like that. You know, like I was up all night waiting for your call. For example, if you guys met for the first time or whatever, okay. Let's say like I bought a suit for you. You know, I bought like a nice shirt for you because you know, like I wanted to look sexy for you. That's what they would say to you. Okay. They would probably also tell you again that they have been around you for quite some time is what i'm picking up here okay so they would maybe tell you i've been watching you for some time or it took me a few days to give you a call to text you um because i was talking to my friends you know how i can like kind of like where they come up with a plan to get you like what could they do in order to get you i'm also hearing like you don't need any man like and i'm used to women that need a man or that are needy and you're not needy so it was very like new to me how to handle that. Do you know what I mean? Or something about like, I'm used to very needy men and you gave me so much freedom and then I was like, I'm not sure how to handle you. That's what they would say to you. I just saw a Christmas tree. I don't know why. I just saw a Christmas tree. Okay. Oh, so. Oh, okay. For some of you guys, I'm hearing a few buzz. What they would say to you right now is they would say, I cannot wait to celebrate Christmas with you because last Christmas, my last Christmas was bad or was very sad or was very like, I was very, I don't know. I felt like absolute shit last Christmas. So I cannot wait to, you know, celebrate my next Christmas with you. That's something else that they would say to you. Like, I cannot wait to go to Christmas markets with you. Maybe Christmas is their favorite holiday season or again their last christmas was so traumatic that they just wish for like a beautiful christmas or again again we talked about it right where they pray to meet someone before christmas or before next christmas and then you guys are meeting does that make sense and they're going to be like oh my god you know my prayer was heard i wanted to celebrate my next christmas with the love of my life that's what maybe what they what they would say to you maybe even especially around christmas season where it's like official they would say to you like man do you know what i did like last Last year Christmas I sent out a prayer that next year Christmas I want to celebrate with the love of my life and here you are my prayer has been answered something like that here okay now pen number one I could go now pen number two I could go on and on I think I'm gonna go to the extended now okay um, because there's a lot more that I want to talk about okay there's a lot more that I want to talk about but again I'm gonna go to the extended now because this reading is gonna get too long it's gonna get too long okay but yeah, they would they would feel a little bit insecure, okay? They would maybe say like you drive me crazy with you never they would maybe even say like you never answer questions straightforward, you know, like for example, they would say like, "Hey, what are you looking for?" and then you're like, "Whatever God has planned for me." And do you know what I mean? And they would say like, "Oh, it drives me crazy when you do that or when you don't answer my questions or maybe kind of like they kind of like they would say like, "I love that you are mysterious, but it also drives me fucking nuts, you know, <laughs> that you don't answer certain questions or when are you going to reveal your secret to me in case you maybe are secretive about something?" That's something that they would say say to you they would ask you are you trying to seduce me <laughs> or they would say to you like i'm gonna seduce you tonight yes i do that's what they would say to you i'm gonna seduce you tonight mm -hmm. i'm gonna make you mine tonight you know i'm gonna change your opinion tonight you know you're gonna say yes to me kind of like where you're uh, they ask you like hey you know um do you want something serious and you're like i'm not sure you know whatever god has planned for me and then they're going to be like okay i'm going to make your mind tonight by the end of the night you're going to say yes okay or um you're going to be sure or for example kind of like do you they would say to you like do you think i'm a player and you're like i don't know i don't know you yet and then he's he or she is going to be like i'm going to show you i'm not a player by the end of the night you're going to see i'm not a player is what i'm seeing here or something about like i'm going to show you i'm going to show you who i really am i'm not a player you know i'm not playing <laughs> something like that pound number two one more thing that i wanted to add here is i feel like your true love and your future spouse is gonna be like kind of confident where they're gonna be like we're meant to be you know we're meant to be you know you know you know the way we met was magical or you know this is not a coincidence so i do feel like your true love and your future spouse is kind of it's funny because they're kind of confident but they have like their insecure moments does that make sense <laughs> but overall they're gonna be confident they're gonna be like i'm gonna make you mine i'm gonna seduce you tonight or i'm gonna change your mind about me or you know um 
I'm gonna show you that I'm a nice guy, that I'm a, you know, that I'm a nice girl, <laughs> or something about like, um, you know, we're meant to be, or you know, like, you know, if you look into my eyes, you know, I'm the one, like stuff like that. Okay, they're gonna be so confident. Oh my god, I think it's gonna turn you on how confident they are. <laughs> okay, so something along those lines. I just wanted to add that because with the song "Stay Ready," it's kind of like even the energy of like they would maybe even say to you like I'm ready like I'm ready when you're ready does that make sense I don't know what that would mean but they would probably say to you like I'm ready when you're ready let me know when you're ready or um let me know when you changed your mind or something like that or I don't know but again the energy is very funny very goofy very confident your true love and your future spouse does have you know balls <laughs> you know they're very confident you know that they get somebody or what they want like they get what they want you know they could even say like i always get what i want you know with a wink or whatever <laughs> um or something along those lines something along those lines okay but yeah i'm gonna go to the extended now we're gonna talk about a few more cards here we also have the card here, conception i'm just saying we have here the ace of cups just to show you what we're gonna talk about um Okay, as well as the Eight of Wands, okay, and we also have either card Romance, Romance is a sacred power, let it come to me this hour. Okay, so we're gonna look at that on Patreon, if you are interested in that, the link is down in the description box, if not, I'm gonna see you in my next one and I wish you a lovely day, bye. Hello my lovely pal number three, welcome to your reading guys. If you did not watch the intro, we're going to look at your true love and your future spouse today. I don't know, for some reason I'm so excited about this topic. <laughs> we're going to look at what your future spouse would say to you right now in this very moment. Hypothetically speaking, if your future spouse would be in your life right now, if they would drunk dial you, call you right now, if they would sit next to you, sleep next to you, look into your eyes right now, what would they say to you, okay? I find it so interesting because you get a feeling of who your future spouse is or how he or she talks or how they show you that they like you when we look at what they would say to you does that make sense i just wanted to add i could also be tapping into future events because if you think about it if your future spouse would be in your life right now there would also be things happening between the two of you right so it would be the beginning of your love story so i could be tapping into the beginning of your love story meaning it's a future event but that makes sense okay so if they would already be in your life that would also mean your love story would begin or you guys would go on dates and stuff like that so just to let you guys know i could also be potentially be tapping into future events or that's what your reality would look like if they were in your life right now it could also be again that this is what it is going to look like but this would take place right now <laughs> i hope i'm making sense guys you know what i mean hypothetically speaking okay and i do want to spark your imagination because the more often it's funny because that card came out but the more often you imagine your future spells um the faster you manifest them to you so it's also for me to spark your imagination you know where you get a feeling or a glimpse of who your future spouse really is and how would he or she talk to you or what would they say to you right now okay so i'm very excited about this reading i also feel like part number three your reading is gonna get very interesting i'm not gonna lie it's a completely different energy compared to pile number one and pile number two okay also guys just to let you know this reading is gonna have an extended in the extended, I might talk a little bit about more the spicy details, kind of like the dirty version. YouTube is going to be the clean version. Patreon might be the dirty version where I'm going to get into specifics and I'm going to be a little bit more thorough, if you know what I mean. Okay, and I'm going to talk about like, you know, spicy things. Okay, so let me tap into the energy i'm actually gonna zoom you guys in we're gonna look at the cards together but your reading is gonna get interesting your reading is gonna get interesting okay so i'm gonna zoom you guys in and then we're gonna talk about everything i don't even know where to begin this is gonna get fucking interesting okay <laughs> i'm just letting you know let me just cleanse the energy okay let me just cleanse the energy and then we're gonna talk about everything i don't even know where to begin 
So give me a moment. Okay, let me start with that one first because that's the most intense one, okay? So I'm gonna show you the cards so that you know, you know, <laughs> what I'm seeing here. Um, I wanna start with this card first. It says Princess of Wands and it says the dancer. So for some of you guys, you could really like dancing or you could notice that you are dancing a lot more often lately or you feel very drawn to go out and dance or something about you always wanted to go to a dancing class. You are going to a dancing class right now or you have like this vision or this you know romantic fantasy to go out and dance with your future spouse to somehow go out and dance kizamba salsa or to literally go out and dance and have fun and stuff like that you know kind of like a night out or how you meet your future spouse at a night out you know dancing and stuff like that or something about where they just appear in front of you while you're dancing of some sort or for some of you guys you could have noticed that you have a passion for dancing something that you maybe have done when you were younger or you are noticing right now that you find a lot of joy in dancing and you didn't know this was like a passion of yours so it's kind of like a newly discovered passion okay this could also be connected to you know you wanting to dance with hula hoops or kind of like artistic dancing pole dancing whatever it is it doesn't have to be just dancing at a club and stuff like that it could be also very like interesting dancing it could be ballet it could be again like pole dancing um some type of artistic dancing like how the people dance in circuses and stuff like that or you could just feel like that's so cool and you always had like this fantasy of learning that at some point or you always wanted to somehow learn how to strip tease of some sort okay Okay, is what I'm picking up here for some odd reason I'm just gonna say it. it's not gonna be for everybody but for some of you guys you have like this fantasy um, ooh. I don't know if it's you or if it's your future spouse you will know um, for some of you guys you have this fantasy because I just saw a cop but someone could be a police officer or work in the police department or whatever or in the security department of some sort um, but I'm seeing handcuffs okay so i don't know if you have these fantasies of like handcuffing your boo or how he or she's handcuffing you or something about role play but when it comes to like you know like oh you've been a naughty naughty girl you know here's the whip or you've been a naughty naughty girl like i'm gonna you know like i'm gonna arrest you for others of you um i don't know maybe you have been arrested before <laughs> okay um Fathers of you, the whole energy that I'm picking up here with the police officer could be because you are currently in some type of legal dispute because we have the justice card here. Just a confirmation, this is your power. For some of you guys, you could be kind of like you could kind of be in a fight right now when it comes to justice, okay? Or you have been praying for justice because something very unfair happened. Maybe may that be at work, may that be, you know, in your family. Like I'm being brought to like like a fight when it comes to justice you know like what is right okay something like that could be somehow significant or this energy could be surrounding you because it says by the power of three by three so you maybe have seen the angel number 333 a lot or 33 but it says by the power of three by three ma'at deliver justice to me so again you could also be very connected to the goddess ma'at um, to the lady ju lady justice to the goddess that provides justice or you have been praying for justice or you have been praying to be that the truth comes out somehow some way in a situation or that people see that you are innocent or again for some of you guys you recently won like a court court battle or something about like where you won in court or you are in that type of energy or you feel like you have to prove your innocence in some type of situation right now in this very moment okay for some of you guys just an extra confirmation for someone here for some of you guys you have been very drawn to tiger symbolism dragon symbolism i'm being brought to red ink i'm being brought to red red ink tattoos or just red ink in general like maybe writing in red ink or drawing with red ink um for others of you i'm being brought to like chinese culture i'm being brought to asian culture i'm being brought to tiger bomb okay again just a confirmation this is your power for some of you guys you've done a fire ritual recently or you have been very drawn to buying candles doing candle magic and for some of you guys you recently burned yourself while cooking of some sort <laughs> okay just for some of you guys and for others of you you're just currently going through a lot when it comes to work because 
I don't know, like someone is saying you did something even though you didn't do it and you're trying to prove your innocence, something along those lines, okay, for some of you guys. Just a confirmation, this is your power, okay? Now, listen to me. I pick up the strong energy here. Um, what your true love and your future spouse would say to you right now is, I am jealous. You know, you would be asking your future spouse, like, why are you so silent? For example, you guys are on a call or they're not texting much and stuff like that. And if you would ask him or her, like, what's going on? What's wrong? Um, they would say, I'm jealous, you know, like, or, you know, yeah, something about like where they would admit that they are jealous or they would say like something made them really jealous. Um, this actually reminds me of a reading that I've done before maybe it rings a bell if it doesn't don't worry about it but i've done a reading where i talked about how a person wakes up with a bad dream you might be the pile where i keep talking about how your future spouse has problems sleeping or where your future spouse has nightmares like quite a quite a lot or something about they have like i don't know they have bad dreams here and there or they could actually like know when bad stuff happens through their dreams which kind of like you know sometimes messes up like their sleeping schedule of some sort or somehow they feel nervous because they know bad stuff is happening you might have chosen that pile before for others of you that's the energy that is surrounding your future spouse they either have a fucked up sleeping schedule or they sometimes have bad dreams or they do have bad dreams before bad things happen you know even subconsciously they just have bad dreams before like some weird stuff is happening and I did talk about in a different reading, I talked about um, in a different reading, I talked about how a person's waking up from like a bad dream where someone stole you away from him or her. OK, so they could be saying like I had a bad dream, you know, and you would ask like, what was that bad dream about? And then he or she would say like, I had a bad dream that someone stole you away from me or I had a bad dream that a man or a woman tried to take you away from me or you know like a man or a woman was like fighting me to get you or trying to lie about me to get you or try to tell you lies so that they can you know steal you away from me you know so they would be a little bit worried that someone is stealing you away from him or her kind of like where they have like a dream for some of you guys again they could have prophetic dreams so they could be picking up on some type of jealous energy where someone in your circle is actually into you and your future spouse has a gut feeling so your future spouse would say to you like i feel like this person has a crush on you and you're like nah that's not true and then your future spouse would be like no they have a crush on you believe me you know i've seen how he looked at her i've seen how she looks at you you know they want you or something about like i don't know this makes me jealous or um you know you would be asking like are you jealous and they wouldn't say anything like they would be you know they they wouldn't answer and it's like no answer is an answer so they're kind of like jealous or something like that or um they would want you to say like hey you don't have to be jealous i only want you or something along those lines because again for some of you guys it's actually a dream i did talk this to me feels like a deja vu because i feel like i've done this reading before okay so they would say to you that they're jealous or they saw something in their dreams that is like worrying them something about like i had a bad dream that your ex would come back and you know send you a text message and stuff like that that your ex would stand in front of your door and then it actually happens so your future spouse could have like prophetic dreams or they could even if they don't have psychic abilities they do know when bad stuff happens like they have a strong intuition they could even feel like i don't have a good feeling with this person you know um so yeah they would tell you like hey you know pile number three babe i'm jealous or like i don't know i'm pissed or i don't know they could even say to you like i never get jealous or something about because i'm also hearing like this could happen while you are out dancing does that make sense where they notice that someone wants to dance with you or someone is trying to twerk in front of you and they see that and they get like fucking jealous so they might be telling you like let's go home or i want to go home or you know like something you're gonna be like why you know like and then he or she would say like i'm pissed you know he saw that i'm with you why is he approaching you she saw that i'm with you why is she twerking in front of you so your future spouse would be pissed he would be pissed right now not because you did anything but because someone disrespected them in front of you like where someone sees you guys come together and you know like they just you know they just try to snatch you away from them they could actually they would actually kiss you right now in front of somebody 
okay or they would want to like show people like hey i'm with pie number three so they would put their arm around you they would kiss you they would maybe try to give you a hickey so that people know like kind of like marking their territory or again they would have some type of like fight they would literally be fighting with someone right now like you know like they would have like a staring contest like why the fuck do you look at pile number three i'm with her and then the other person would be like i don't give a fuck if you're with her i want her <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So they would have a staring contest. They would fight with somebody here. Okay, they would be so pissed and so jealous. They would be heated right now. They would be heated. They would like take your hand and grab it like, you know, they would grab your freaking hand. Let me show it to you guys. They would grab your freaking hand and you're like, damn, you know, why is your, why do you hold my hand so tightly? Or they would give you like a very tight hug. Again, they would give you a hickey in front of everybody. They would kiss you in front of everybody. Um, or they would maybe even say like, you're mine or something like that. Or do you know what this also to me feels like? I, again, this reminds me of a different reading that I've done because in that different reading, I said something about a fantasy and I said, this person fantasizes about how you reject a person and you say this is my boyfriend oh my god here we go listen okay because i pick up the energy here you guys you might be going out on a date and your future spouse knows that it is too early to make things official but again your future spouse the official person right here okay the official person is a person that is very serious he doesn't laugh he doesn't play he takes things very seriously okay and i pick up the energy here where your true love and your future spouse will know very early on that like almost as if they instantly want to how can i explain the energy It's like the energy where they know it's not official because you guys get to know each other, but they know they want you. Does that make sense? So they would want to make it official very early, but they know they have to chill. Does that make sense? So they would maybe even apologize like, I'm sorry, I'm jealous, but I don't know, you know, this person pissed me off or do you know what I mean? So they would maybe even like, you know, they would talk about like how they were pissed about somebody like he looked at you like he's you know like taking your clothes off and i was next to you like why the fuck did he do that and stuff like that the next time i see him you know you know i'm telling you i'm telling you even if she's a woman she would be in bitch fight mode she would be like who does she think she is you know her mama didn't teach her any manners you know not to look at another woman's man <laughs> she oh my god they would your future spouse would be heated right now okay but yeah they would know like hey it's too early to make things official but they would how can i explain that energy you know for example because i'm picking up the energy because it's like it's not official between the two of you so if someone is approaching you they would ask you like you know are you single do you want to dance and you're like maybe they're hearing you like saying i'm here with a friend or i'm here with somebody but in their mind they want you to say i'm here with my boyfriend i'm here with my girlfriend does that make sense so they want you to say this is my boyfriend or this is my girlfriend so they would be pissed about that you didn't say this is my boyfriend or my girlfriend but it's like you don't do you know what i mean it's like you're not official yet so they know they're stupid for being mad at you but they also cannot help being mad at you does that make sense so something like that they would be like um they would maybe tell you like i don't know they would i feel like they would act a little weird because they want things to be official so maybe they would say like um they would maybe ask you like hey are we official okay or like um are you my girlfriend are you my boyfriend they would ask a straightforward question in your face so it's not like we're getting together and somehow we are boyfriend and girlfriend they would be like hey i'm your boyfriend now i'm your girlfriend now okay but it, i feel like it's triggered because they get jealous they might be noticing that you catch a lot of people's attention maybe you are in your glow up era maybe you really embrace i don't know you um, something about where people look at you because they feel like they have to fight for you i'm also hearing i'm gonna fight for you or something about they they would feel like they would say to you i almost fought this bitch or i almost fought this dude you know they pissed me the fuck off you know the way they, they this might even be an energy where you know someone is touching you and they see that someone is touching you and you didn't want that oh my god and that's why i picked up the police energy so they would have to hold back not to punch this person i'm gonna be honest okay it's kind of like where they notice that someone is like yeah someone is treating you someone is touching you without permission and like that's not how you treat women that's not how you you know like that's you don't do that you know didn't your mama raise you well oh my god <laughs> 
oh my god you know i'm also hearing you're gonna get me in trouble you know like I, you almost got me in trouble i was so mad you know the way what they did and stuff like that you know this could even be an energy where your future spouse is with you and then there's other women and these other women are laughing at you or these other women are trying to you know like take your man away from you or take your woman away from you and your, your, your future spouse would be like who wants who wants like a woman like that who's like mean you know and who laughs about other people who the fuck wants a woman like that do you know what i mean so they would somehow drag somebody they would be like you know they would be so mad that someone mistreated you does that make sense something like that is what i'm picking up here and they would be like you know who wants who wants a woman that wants to steal another woman's man like this is so fucking unattractive they would be they would be venting i'm telling you they would be in a mood <laughs> okay so yeah they could be feeling like you know next time I'm, I'm gonna kiss you in front of him or next time i'm gonna give you a hickey in front of him or her do you know what i mean something like that something like that that's what they would tell you like i'm sorry but this pissed me off or you know i know things are not official i know we still get to know each other but like you know i don't know i'm this made me jealous they might even you know admit to you that they never get jealous but that situation made them fucking jealous or for example pie number three you would tell your true love and your future spouse what is going on in your life right now right and you might tell him or her like damn you know these people they're always mean to me or they always make stupid comments and stuff like that and that would be the reason why your future spouse would say to you like do you want me to handle this i'm gonna you know like i'm gonna come to your workplace and i'm gonna talk to this person you know or i'm gonna put this person in their place or you know your future spouse would tell you yeah that's why you know these women compete with you because you know they see something in you do you know what i mean like they would like push you and let you know um you're doing something right when you got haters does that make sense or they would say to you like that's the reason why you know like um you got the job promotion because you are more capable or you are so kind and considerate and stuff like that and they only are selfish so they would kind of like back you up or they would tell you like do you want me to handle this do you want me to call customer service do you want me to come over and talk to your boss i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it like i'm picking up the energy of like your future spouse has the energy of kind of like um they fight for the people that they love or they start to become like <laughs> i don't know i'm picking up the energy of like a gang so like do you want me to pull through do you want me to talk to her okay to put her in a place in her place to leave you alone that's the type of vibe that i'm picking up so if it's not jealousy it might be that you are going through something very unfair right now and your future spouse would back you up he would he or she would say like i'm gonna call customer service i'm, I'm gonna come through or um you know like i'm gonna help you to win this case or you know like i'm gonna help you to pass your exam and stuff like that if they don't want to help you i'm gonna help you something along those lines okay or i'm also picking up the energy here what i'm hearing is i fell in love with you the first time i saw you dancing okay something about where they're really gonna fall in love with you because they see you dancing maybe it's maybe you are in your element or um something about like do you remember the day when we went outside and we went dancing and then this guy came to you or this woman came to you or something like that you know that was the day i knew i was in love with you because i was so fucking jealous that this was like jealousy on another level that i didn't feel before and i knew like i'm in love with you or i knew this is serious you know like I'm in like I'm in trouble you know because I, I'm starting to fall in love with you so they could be saying how they fell in love with you the first time they saw you dancing or the first time you guys went out to dance is of some sort okay or the first time you were slow dancing or the first time you were I don't know like you know where you first like I'm hearing the song rich baby daddy by Drake you know shake that ass for Drake now shake that ass for me you know that's what I'm being brought to okay so maybe the first time you were grinding on them I'm also hearing the song pony they were they were like the first time you were grinding on me i was like in love with you not like in a way where they're like in love with your body of course they are but i don't know they just knew they are in love with you because they were like instead of like enjoying that you're dancing with them they were like noticing like the eyes on you and it pissed them off like nobody sh you know like stop it you know don't look at her i'm with her here you know something like that is when i'm picking up you or they would say to you like man on that that night i knew i was in love with you because i got so jealous i didn't know that i can't be this jealous or they would say to you like i got jealous over a freaking dream and i was like oh damn i'm really in love with you or wow you know <laughs> i didn't know i could get jealous because of a dream okay 
for others of you your future spouse would say to you like every time you sleep at my place i don't have nightmares or every time you sleep at my place i sleep peacefully okay so they would say like you know like um when you you know were sleeping over at my place um i didn't have any nightmares i noticed that my peace was my sleep was very peacefully you know and it doesn't happen often or something along those lines or they would want to talk about a dream that they had like they might even okay listen for some of you guys if you are good at dream meaning so if you just both would ask you questions like what do you think this dream means they would ask you what you think this dream means because they are somehow fighting something or somebody in a dream and they would ask you what this means, okay? So some of you guys, your future spouse would say to you that they have a bad feeling, okay? Because we have the devil card here. Your future spouse would say to you that they have a bad feeling about somebody. They would say like, pound number three, you know, um, I think you shouldn't sign this contract. I think you shouldn't work with this person, I think there's something more wrong with your friend, and they're actually right, okay, so I feel like if you're just going to feel like somebody in your circle might not be good for you, and they're correct about it, okay, so they might be saying like, I'm sorry, I don't want to, you know, like, you know, I know I'm not in the place to like, say or tell you anything, but I have a re weird feeling about this person. I feel like the way they talk to you or the way that they treat you is very shady. And did, don't you see that the way that they talk or treat you is shady? That's what I'm picking up here. Yeah, the lights just went on. Okay, so they would make you aware of someone who's shady. They would be like, this person, like the way they treat you is fucking shady. Why the fuck are they talking to you like that? I'm telling you, they would have like, your future spouse has an energy of, um, they fucking hate injustice, okay? So they get very like heated when they see injustice, especially because also on top of that, they are in love with you. <laughs> Does that make sense? So they get like extra like heated because they are in love with you. Okay. I'm also hearing because we have the card here, innocence. Okay. It says they're inexperienced in bed or haven't had any sexual partners still figuring out what they like in bed. So for some of you guys, if you are inexperienced in bed, you probably would have a conversation about that right now and they would ask you like, really? You know, you didn't do anything, you know? So they would like try to like figure out if you're playing with them or if you are really inexperienced for some of you guys. So they would ask you like, really? So then what did you do? <laughs> you know? Um, or something about like why did you why why didn't you do anything with anybody or they would like they would i feel like they would not believe you like they would believe you but they would also not believe you does it make sense something about like they would not believe you like no way you've never been in a relationship or no way you know i'm your first person i'm your second person i'm your third person do you know what i mean like or something about like where you say you've never been in love like really you've never been in love like i also have never been in love but really it's like the first time for you like something about where they would be they would be shocked about your innocence i don't know what that means okay because i'm hearing why do you look so innocent so you know how certain people they have seductive eyes some people they have a cheeky grin some people have a very like staring into your soul eyes like where their eyes look like they're staring you down. Some people have intimidating eyes. Some people have like, you know, very calm, peaceful eyes. And I feel like with you guys, your future spouse is gonna feel like you, there's something innocent about you, something about where they would say like, your eyes are very innocent or I'm hearing something about like, um, you don't look like, I, I'm hearing at first I thought you are a troublemaker, but about where they feel like you look innocent i'm hearing why do you look so innocent they might be saying like your eyes look so innocent or i don't know something about yeah I'm, that's what i'm hearing like your eyes look so innocent or you look so innocent or i cannot believe you're so yeah something about you're so innocent for example i'm just going to give an example so you guys know what i mean for example um let's say for example you are a masculine watching me right now and you're looking for a female or you are a female watching me and you're looking for a female and she gives you the opportunity to touch her butt okay she's like holding it like that she's you know making it available to you you can touch my butt and you still touch this person's back or you still kiss them on the cheek even though you have the opportunity to kiss them on the 
lips does that make sense and they're like damn why are you so innocent like you had the opportunity to you know take me home you had the opportunity to kiss me but you didn't and it's kind of like you know they would be saying to you like why are you so innocent or something about let's say for example this person this man has a lot of money and you can like get something from the menu that is super expensive and you take like something like that is not expensive at all doesn't make sense there's something about where they're going to be like why do you look um, i keep hearing it why do you look so innocent that could be something that they're asking themselves in their mind but they might not say that to you okay does that make sense with in their their thoughts in their thoughts they're telling themselves like why is pal number three so innocent they don't ask me for anything they don't touch me they don't make any nasty jokes okay they don't try to f me on the first you know day they don't try to kiss me on the first date why are you so innocent does that make sense that's what i'm being brought to that might that might be something that they're asking themselves in their head okay we also have here the card um i think you are the sexiest woman i ever met so they would say you're the sexiest woman they ever met and then she says harry don't be ridiculous i'm wearing my glasses so someone here you could be wearing glasses contact lenses so they could be saying or telling you that they find you very sexy when you wear glasses or something about like i don't know i get turned on when you wear glasses or whatever or something about like um they get turned on because we have the intellectually sexy, okay? I'm hearing teach me daddy or I'm hearing like teach me mommy, okay? Because it says intellectually sexy, they find your intelligence sexually arousing, giving them a real intense intellectual and mental connection with you, okay? So your future spouse could be telling you like they get like every time you... Every time you act like a smart ass or every time you teach me, you know, I get like, you know, I get a, hmm, there's a palm tree growing between my legs, okay? So they would be telling you like every time you talk really smart or every time you, you know, um, every time you try to explain something to me or you're trying to teach me all I want to do is take your clothes off and kiss you and stuff like that okay but again I'm also hearing they want to mark their territory so they would want to give you a hickey or again they would say like hey are we girlfriend and boyfriend you know like or am I your person are we official okay or what did you tell this person did you tell this person you're single or what did you say to him or her when he was approaching you so they would maybe also even want all the details because again i feel like there's someone approaching you and they're watching it and again they want to know like what happened what did he say to you like and um something along those lines here like i'm also being brought to kind of like an energy here I'm even hearing like why didn't you say I'm your boyfriend you know and then you would be like because you're not my boyfriend are you do you know what I mean like this would be the type of conversations you guys would have right now or again they would be ready to fight somebody I don't know you know and they would be saying for example if your ex is like calling you or whatever and you tell him about him he would say like I'm gonna take the call next time he's calling give me the call I'm gonna talk to him mm. <laughs> okay something like that is what i'm picking up here like he had his chance she had his chance she had her chance oh my god what an attitude okay oh i'm hearing the song by justin timberlake what is that song called um whenever you're not in my presence feels like i'm missing my blessings yeah so i sleep all day stay awake all night till you're back again oh yeah i'm telling you they somehow have like sleeping issues or something about like dreams reoccurring dreams and they don't know what they mean or something like that is what i'm picking up here because we also have the card here the little moments of magic simplicity and contentment yeah that's what i'm picking up here something about where you're happy with small things or little things and they're not used to it they're like you're just happy you know like spending time with me or when you you know like buy them their favorite like cake or muffin and you're like happy and oh, do you know what i'm picking up here oh my god okay for some of you guys i'm just gonna say it. for some of you guys your true love and your future spouse has been with a person okay in their previous relationship and maybe they 
baked a cake or bought a cake for this person or bought their favorite fruit or whatever and this person who they were with was like what am i going to do about it you know i thought you're going to buy me a bracelet for my birthday or i, th I thought you're gonna we're going to go on vacation kind of like where they were in a relationship or connected to somebody that was really demanding like they're only happy with a huge luxurious you know like vacation in dubai and they're not happy with like i don't know like them cooking for you so they will notice like that you ask for simple things or that you want simple things or almost like do you know what I mean? That's what I'm picking up here where they feel like you deserve the world but you ask for such small things such as like I just want to hug you know or you know I just want to you know spend the weekend at your place it, um, instead of asking for a new bag or instead of asking for your nails to get done and stuff like that you know and there's nothing wrong with it but I feel like they have been with a person who didn't like them kind of like Ugh, you know like you know I am you know, instead of, you know, sitting here in the hotel room and cuddling, I want to be on a yacht or, you know, take me out to a fancy restaurant and stuff like that, you know, like every day, you know, I'm not just, again, because I'm not, I don't want to bash women or men that, you know, you know what you want. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about they have been with a person that only cared about like bracelets and every day had to be spectacular and they were never like satisfied with a simple day they felt like they are the princess the queen the empress all they deserve is fucking diamonds and do you know what i mean like too much too much too much okay even a guy he felt like he's the king his feet have to be rubbed every day this woman has to cook for him every day and do you know what i mean and they're gonna and when you say I just want to cuddle let's go out to dance and stuff like that they're gonna be like that's what you want nothing else and you're like no they would be asking you like what do you want and you would be like i don't know like let's go out to let's go out to dance you know let's i don't know <laughs> and they would be like this is all you want and you're like yeah that's all i want what else would i want and they would be like dang that's all she wants from me. Do you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing the song. Too many women in my life. I don't really know what they want from me. Don't know really. Don't know if they love me or my money. Okay. So they always had questions in their head if a person likes them for who they are or for the, for who they for for their money, and they would notice that you like them. Like you want to spend time with them. You don't want to spend time with their money. You want you want to spend time with them. So I'm hearing you really like me and you would be like yeah why why else would I you know talk to you so they would ask you like do you really like me oh my god okay or you only want to spend time with me like yeah what else what else would I want something like that is what I'm picking up here I'm also hearing you deserve the world like do you know what I'm picking up here this is not going to be exactly how it's going to happen but i'm picking up the energy here where let's say for example they ask you what do you want again you might be the power i talked about it before in a different reading what do you want and then you say like oh let's just cuddle or whatever um um because i'm seeing them like you okay listen for some of you guys your future spouse has a habit of um they sometimes whisper stuff that they think like they think something and they think they only think it but they actually say it i don't know if you guys know what i mean and i heard it for the first time but it's like sometimes your future spouse cannot control his or her tongue so sometimes they have thoughts and they don't notice that they are saying what they're thinking so they could be somebody they're so truthful that maybe they even say certain things that are not appropriate does that make sense for example like i'm hearing you saying oh no i just want to you know let's just you know like um, bathe in the sun or whatever it's a sunny day let's just you know like get some sunshine or whatever and they're saying like that's all you want you know and you're gonna be like yeah you know let's do it and then they're gonna be like you deserve the world but i'm hearing them whispering it like you deserve the world like they are mumbling it does that make sense something about where they feel like you deserve the world they might even be saying to you like you deserve everything you deserve the world okay i want to give my all to you is what i'm hearing as well of course they're not going to say it exactly how i say it um, but something like that kind of like um, i'm going to give you everything you know yeah i'm hearing 
yeah, I'm going to buy you everything. I'm going to give you everything. You're going to get everything from me, you know? That's what I'm hearing. Or they might be telling you, like, what do you want? I can get you anything. Something like that. Oh, well, we have your celebration. You are, you're connected to pile number two, okay? You might be connected to pile number two because I talked about a Christmas tree in pile number two. Okay, now the reason why I heard the song, um, what is it called? Nothing Matters by Justin Timberlake. I'm going to put it down in the description box. But the reason why I heard that song is because it, we have the card here, the little moments of magic, simplicity, and contentment. And in the song he says, whenever you're not in my presence, feels like I'm missing my blessings. So, and I'm also being brought to the song The Finer Things by Mac Miller. I'm going to put it down in the description box. Actually, let me read it out to you because... It's such a beautiful song here, okay? I'm also hearing I miss you. So if you just pause the song with Justin Bieber, he says, um, only been missing my lover. Okay, so I'm hearing like they would say that they miss you right now, okay? Okay, or something about I can't wait to see you again, I miss you, okay? Something like that, they would actually text you right now, I miss you, is what I'm picking up here. Okay, because they, it's almost like the energy where they notice how much peace you bring to them because they could be very stressed all the time or they could be under a lot of stress and pressure and they feel like the only time they really calm the fuck down and they feel such deep peace and tranquility is with you. Does that make sense? So they're going to crave your peaceful, tranquil energy all the time. Okay, I'm hearing, I can have you all the time, time. I'm gonna put all the songs in the description box and if you want to find out what the energy of if you just buzz is like you can watch you can listen to these songs or watch the music videos but yeah oh I wanted to check the finer things by um, Meg Miller okay I'm hearing the best things in life is the free ones the little things everybody needs some the finer things make you feel better but no one ever seems to remember okay let me see I'm trying to find the right words right now, okay? Yeah. So he says, the best things in life is the free ones, the little things everybody needs some. The finer things make you feel better, but no one ever seems to remember. Okay, so in the song he basically talks about like how small things make, bring big happiness to us, but we sometimes forget how small things can bring so much happiness to us such as like flowers, your favorite color, a beautiful full moon, like um, a cozy bed, you know, your favorite drink, your favorite cake, you know, because listen, how can I explain that energy? I'm going to go to the extended after that because I feel like I talk a lot and I also have a lot to talk about like in the extended, but I want to explain the energy to you that I'm picking up here, okay? So I feel like your true love ha in your future spouse, they have been asking themselves the question, kind of like the pursuit of happiness. What is happiness? You know, what is what what happiness really is? And they feel like they have been chasing happiness and happiness didn't come to them. I'm not saying that your future spouse is an unhappy person. I'm not talking about that, but I feel like um, they could put a lot of pressure on themselves to achieve as much as possible to the point where they don't know how to enjoy themselves or they don't know how to enjoy life and they feel like you remind them of enjoying life kind of like um I'm trying to find the word words give me a moment maybe that could even be him or her that i'm channeling like i'm trying to find the right words where you're like you know is there something that you want to tell me and he or she's like you know, give me time, I'm trying to find the right words, or I don't know how to say it. Um, they would say that you reminded me that happiness is in small things or like you reminded me of what happiness really is about i'm hearing happiness is only real when shared like i'm being read to the movie into the wild so that could be a significant movie okay kind of like you 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 remind me of like the little things you know that bring happiness to me you know for others of you 
if you are into tarot, manifesting, if you do any magical rituals, they would be like, you bring so much magic into my life or I didn't believe. Do you know what I'm hearing? It's a quote. Someone says, I don't believe in magic. And then an old lady says, like he says, I don't believe in magic. An old lady re replies, you will when you see her. So your true love and if this spouse is gonna feel like you are a witch, kind of like, yeah, the lights went on. They could feel like the pile number three, you are a witch, but you are my witch, <laughs> you know? Or something about like, um, they could feel like you, there's some type of, I'm hearing, I got the magic stick. <laughs> so they might be saying, damn baby you know if you come over i got a magic stick for you okay or something about like um i got a magic i got a magical puss you know <laughs> something like that or something about they feel like you know like every time i meet with you there's some magical things happening or every time i meet with you there's like supernatural things happening okay or something about like um did you put a spell on me did you put a love spell on me <laughs> Something like that, okay. But I'm hearing, I got the magic stick. <laughs> okay, so they would tell you, like, they got a magic stick ready for you when you're coming over, okay. Or something about, like, did you put a love spell on me? You know, I feel bewitched. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm hearing, uh, yeah, I'm now hearing the song by 50 Cent. Um, I like to call it a spell. I don't kiss and tell, but I don't care if you kiss and tell. You can tell your girlfriend the details. Summer, winter, spring and fall I'll be around to catch your call Cause you're my baby And I adore you That's what they would say to you Okay, they adore you And they're gonna catch your call Every time They cannot, like, they, they get excited when you call Or they want you to call them more often Maybe you are more the texter And they like calling you Or you call a lot And they love it Like, they love that you call To ask a question And then you hang up Like, they like that you call them Like, throughout the day Randomly It makes them, like Kind of like where they like They would say, like I like when you call me randomly I like when you call me And tell me, like, random stuff I like when you call me to ask me questions and then hang up kind of like where they they like that they like that you're so spontaneous does that make sense where you bring so much like spontaneity into their life you know something like that like if you would be like oh my god i'm so sorry i called you three times already and they're like no no i like it when you call me randomly you know work is boring anyway do you know what i mean something like that okay let's get one last card um let's see yeah, they would also say that they find everything about you sexy and you would, you would be like, shut the hell up. Not everything about me is sexy. Or again, they would be like, oh my god, you're so sexy when you wear your glasses. And you're gonna be like, shut the hell up, I'm not sexy when I wear glasses. <laughs> Something like that, okay. This could actually be a person who is into like bookworms, you know, like this could be a man or a woman that is into women that read a lot or women or men that wear glasses men or women that read a lot of books men or women that are teachers they could have fantasies of like ooh, you know having sex with a teacher <laughs> and stuff like that you know or like a very like knowledgeable woman or man okay let's get one more card so they would maybe say like you bring a lot of blessings into my life or I've never experienced so much magic or like oh my god you know like no every time I'm, I'm hearing every time I'm with you something special happens that's what I'm hearing okay one more card with oh, pile number three is true love and we just go save to pile number three look at that but I might not always find the right words but let me suppress you I'm telling you they would say like they're because I pick up the energy where they would be silent on the phone. Oh, listen, for some of you guys, I feel like if you're just about, um, they like to call you and you're like, why do you call me? They're going to be like, mm, for no reason. I just want to, you know, just that, for no reason. Like, there's no reason or rhyme. And you're going to be like, okay. And then you start talking about like random stuff and they just like to listen to you is what I'm picking up here. Okay. Again, it says I might not find always I might not always find the right words, or they might be telling you like they're not really good. Like they would say like, hey, pen number three, I'm not really good at communicating what I'm feeling or what I'm thinking. 
but I'm trying my best or I'm gonna try better because you might be saying like hey why didn't you tell me if you told me I would have not done A and B you know and they would be like yeah it's my fault I'm gonna tell you next time you know what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling or you know I'm trying my best to find the right words or something like that is what I'm picking up here okay bottom of the deck it says I have never in my life felt so calm yet on fire and um, all at the same time knowing deep in my bones he slash she is who I've waited for all my life. I'm also saying, will you be my Valentine? Or they would say like, um, I'm going to make Valentine's Valentine's Day special for you this year, next year, whatever, whatever. I don't know when you're going to meet them. Okay, someone's name could be Vera, or someone's name could start with a V. Okay, so pie number three. <clears throat> So, pen number three, that's what your true love and your future spouse would say to you right now. Okay, I'm gonna go to the extended now. I don't know what we're gonna talk about because I was very like freestyle in the extended. Um, so, we're just gonna check. I'm gonna get a few more cards and then oh yeah i do know what we're going to talk about okay we're going to talk about fantasies because i pick up the energy like you would your spouse would tell you about his or her fantasies you know like they would be like do you know what i want to do with you right now and you're like what <laughs> so that's what we're going to talk about but maybe there's also other information there's also other information that is going to come through okay so the link is down in the description box for the extended i'm going to see you there if not i'm going to see you in my next one and i wish you a lovely day bye